Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're in the gorgeous town of Paynton. It is particularly windy at the moment, but that's because I'm on the beach. But more specifically, we are here today for Paynton Green Classic Car Show. And now this show was cancelled in 2020 on account of Covid and I believe it was cancelled also last year so it will have been three years since since I was here. Let's check it out.
Seeing those minis today really makes me want to fix mine. Here he is. I tell myself there's not a lot wrong with him, but there is. So this is Percy. Perseus to be precise, but everyone who knows him shortens his name to Percy. He is a 1993 1275 Mayfair. And being a 1993, he got the 1275 engine running on a carburetor so no injection to worry about there he really could do with a new front end and his engine leaks like a sieve runs really really well but it it leaks like a sieve and i don't just mean it leaks like an a series i've been there i've done that they all leak no this one you top the oil up you run the engine half the oil disappears well it doesn't really disappear it just reappears underneath the engine on the floor Fortunately, I know someone who has an engine hoist and he's offered to lend it me, so at some point I will be pulling the engine out, 
and changing all the gaskets and seals and anything that could cause it to leak in the hope that I can uh, cure that problem. So what else does he need? Well, he could do with a new windscreen actually, just because there's a little chip in it and it'll just, it'll only come up on the MOT as an advisory anyway, but may as well whilst I'm at it. The interior, there is very little in here. Um, but there's, there's very little work to do either. Uh, when I bought him, it had some inner sill repairs. I did some repairs to the front floors, uh, to the rear wheel arches, doorsteps, and yeah, and outer sills. Uh, managed to get some genuine outer sills, which is nice. And then the other biggie, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> his headlining hanging down. What was I going to say? Yeah, his rear panel. I suppose that's one of the bigger jobs still to do. Can't even really get a proper picture here. But underneath is subframe components and everything. They're all just sat around waiting to be to be refitted. And as for that rear panel, got a new one. So again, cost-wise, the biggest outlay. I've already uh, I've already bought the panel. I guess when I put it like that, there really isn't that much work to do. So maybe I'm not lying to myself necessarily. It's not something that I normally do. We're talking front end, rear panel, and stop the engine from leaking, and then the major, the major reconstruction of putting everything back together. But the bulk of the work's done. Who knows? Maybe in the next twelve months. This garage is full of stuff, though. I can't, I can't move in here. I am building a shed. I think it's about time I. Just bucked a week off work, built that shed, emptied the garage so I can actually get to the Mini. If I can get to the Mini, I can fix the Mini. I haven't worked on them since we first went into lockdown. So, uh, yeah, let's make that commitment to get that, get that shed built, get the garage emptied, get the Mini fixed.